Hi there, it's me, Voice of Reason Baby, and I'm here to let you know that what you're about to see are opinions and not fact. Good and evil are subjective, so there's no need to get all upset now, you hear? That's little willy behavior, so sit back and enjoy the content for what it's designed to do. Otherwise, I'll come to your house and kill you in your sleep. <laughs> bye bye! It's election week, and considering I have no political nous whatsoever, I was gonna do a joke vote. But then my partner was like, no bro, people like you ruin this country. To which I said, make New Zealand great again. To which she said, Nzinga isn't a word. Anyway, there's this website called I Side With, and essentially they give you a range of questions, you answer them, and then it tells you who you are most likely to politically align with. So my beautiful partner has instructed me to do that because that's the responsible thing to do. Now even though she's trusted me and left me alone here to do this quiz, I thought wouldn't it be interesting to instead of doing the quiz the normal way, answer all the questions as evil as possible to figure out which party's the most evil. Now I'm not going to vote for that party, I'm not a maniac, but I just thought it'd be a really interesting experiment. Results may shock you, probably not though. So because I'm a morally bankrupt sh I am a YouTuber after all. I have my mate here behind the camera who's going to help me with the more tricky political questions and the more morally vague questions that I might stumble on. So let's start. I have a little sip -a of my coffee. Cheers. Should the government increase environmental regulations on businesses to reduce carbon emissions? knows the obvious evil one there isn't it should disposable products such as plastic cups plates and cutlery that contain less than 50 percent of biodegradable material be banned no <laughs> do you support the use of hydraulic fracking to extract oil and natural gas resources now i didn't know what hydraulic fracking was so i did a bit of research it turns out what they do is they take a dolphin and they just bash its head into the ground until oil comes out of the ground and then they have oil um, so obviously, yes, we are voting pro-dolphin br brain smashing. Should New Zealand accept refugees from Syria? Nope. Should New Zealand maintain a presence at the United Nations? Yes, but only to sabotage plans. Let's go, no. We don't want to have anything to do with the rest of the world. Should citizens lose their citizenship if they join a terrorist organization in a foreign country? No. Should the government provide free tertiary education? No. Should more students be eligible for an allowance? No. Oh, is there other stances? Uh, no, there should be more restrictions. <laughs> yeah, it's more evil. <laughs> Should the government increase spending on public transportation? No. No, we should reduce current spending. Yeah, there we go. That's more evil. Should convicted criminals have the right to vote? They've done their time. They're out of jail. Should they have the right to vote? Do you think maybe we flip a coin on this? Because I'm like, yes, they should vote for like violent things or like crime things. And that's evil. Not everyone who does time in jail is necessarily guilty. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so no. That's the evil one, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. I like where your head's at. David B uh, Bain, for example. We don't know if he killed his family, but they let him out, didn't they? And they were like, sorry. And he's just like, all good. I've been in jail for so long. I still think these these sweaters are cool. That's a crime against fashion, mate. You're back in! Should non-violent prisoners be released from jail in order to reduce overcrowding? No. Wait, is there more? No, build more prisons. Should the government hire private companies to run prisons? Yes. Bro. <laughs> Just sit, okay. Okay, I'll get you a pillow. Should Muslim immigrants be banned from entering the country until the government improves its ability to screen out potential terrorists? Yes. Should there be a temporary ban on all immigration into New Zealand? Yes, but I'd prefer a permanent ban. There we go. Should immigrants be required to learn English? Yes, and remove multilingual translations from government documents and services. I didn't realize that these got uh, like severely more evil. Are you in favor of decriminalizing drug use? No, pass tougher drug laws. Should New Zealand abolish Maori parliament seats? Yes is the answer. Should political parties be required to run a certain percentage of women candidates? No. Ah. Women. <laughs> Just a reminder, these aren't my thoughts. This is, I'm doing the evil options, okay? I'm, this, I'd never do this. I'm just trying to see who would do it, you know? I'm just trying to uncover the snakes. Should the minimum voting age be lowered? No. It should be raised. Should a politician who has formerly been convicted of a crime be allowed to run for office? Yes. Should the government require children to be vaccinated for preventable diseases? No. Do you support the use of nuclear energy? Yes. And nationalize the industry? Only if there's like the high chance of a reactor meltdown. Should cities open drug safe havens where people who are addicted to illegal drugs can use them under the supervision of medical professionals? They did this in like Sweden, right? And then it had a really positive effect on the drug users, they a lot of them were able to go into rehab and then they came out of it and they weren't convicted and they ended up living normal lives. They had a really, really good um, recidivism. 
right? Recidivism. The tendency of a convicted criminal to reoffend. Um, so obviously, no, we don't want to, <laughs> we don't want to do that. Should there be more or less privatization of hospitals and healthcare? More. Privatize the entire healthcare industry. There should be no free healthcare. Yeah, we're trying to up the evil as much as we can. I want to find out who is the evil. It's not who's just evil. They're all evil. Do you support the legalization of same-sex marriage? Obviously the most evil option here is no, but are there other stances? No. Marriage should be defined as between a man and a woman. That's the same as no, but slightly evil. I like it. I don't like it. What's your stance on abortion? Pro-life or pro-choice? Or... Oh. Oh, pro-life, but I also oppose abortion for victims of... I don't even feel good about clicking that, if I'm being honest. Damn it. Should the death penalty be reinstated? Yes. But the victim's family should decide the punishment? What? Oh, I see what they mean. Like, they should decide whether he gets the death penalty or not. Not, how are we gonna do it? Lethal injection? Pineapple up the <laughs> But obviously the most evil answer is yes. Should welfare recipients be tested for drugs? Yeah, go on then. Yes, and immediately terminate benefits for anyone testing positive. Alright, which qualities are most important to you in a candidate? Honesty, communication, integrity, morality, <laughs> consistency, electability. What the f is that? Is that like just how you're electable you are? Well, that politician is so electable. Mm, I just want to elect him right now. Commitment, common sense, intelligence. I don't want common sense. Get the f out of here. Leadership, transparency, effectiveness, determination, vision, and other stances. Electability seems to be the most redundant. <laughs> Like, waste of time. All right, show my results. And the winner is for the most evil party in New Zealand. T's and C's apply. It's the New Conservative Party. Answering the questions as evilly as possible, I'm 87% likely to vote New Conservative Party. This guy does look a bit evil, doesn't he? Have you seen his picture? Then act. But act's only 55% evil. New Zealand First, 41% evil. National Party, 37% evil. Uh, the Opportunities Party, 14% evil. Labour Party, 5% evil. And the Green Party, 3% evil. But you're still evil. You live with yourself, Green Party. I don't trust them. No one's 100% evil. And no one's 100% not evil. Sometimes just a little bit of everything, you know? And that's what makes this big old melting pot of a world go around. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click the subscribe button. If you didn't enjoy the video, you probably vote for the New Conservative Party, you evil piece of sh uh, just, just click the subscribe button. Vote for me. Press the, ring the bell. Press the like button. Vote Pedro. And actually go out and vote. Go and vote for what you truly believe in. Because, you know, it takes a village.